Hello all, welcome back. Let's set up BSPWM on Arch Linux. So BSPWM stands for Binary Space Partition Window Manager. It's relatively simple to set up and it's very easy to use. So in order for you to install BSPWM, you need to do Pacman. You need to use uh, Pacman capital S followed by BSPWM that is your window manager simple x hotkey daemon that is s x h k d let me increase the font size so s x h k d followed by your compositor so i'm using pycom so if you want to use compton you can use compton no problem but uh, you have to replace the configuration wherever which you're doing that for our wallpaper we are using nitrogen and d menu for the menu num lock x for uh, I'm having number lock on my keyboard, like number pad on my keyboard. So in order for me to use that, after I log in to my window manager, I'm using num lock x instead of a service. So if you don't want that, you can remove this package, no problem. Mm, then you can do that. After that, you can use your favorite AUR helper, yay, or you can use. Uh, and you can use uh, olibar dash git so vspwm is uh, a simple window manager it's not a bar it's nothing else it's just a window manager so it's bare bones you don't have anything else you have to build everything like you have to use whichever you want so after you install your polybar from the AUR, we can get started. If you don't want to use polybar, you can use whichever bar you want. I don't have a problem with that, but you have to make changes to your configuration accordingly. So first thing we have to do is we have to mkdir, we have to create inside our home folder and inside dot config we have to create two directories. So the first one is VSPWM and the second one is SXHKD. So simple X hotkey diamond. So we need to create these two directories. So after we create these two directories, we are going to copy something from slash user share followed by docs. Inside docs, we have BSPWM. Inside that, we have examples. So, here we have like two files. So, first one is BSPWMRC. So, the BSPWMRC will be copied to the slash dot config and BSPWM. We are going to copy the BSPWMRC to this directory. And after that, we are going to copy sxhkdrc to a similar fashion dot config so we are going to copy co um, sorry copy this one to this directory so after that is done we can open up the configuration file so we are going to use vim for mine dot config followed by bspwm followed by bspwmrc so this is my bspwmrc file so yours may be different so i have added these lines pycom for the compositor so it will give you like transparency fade and all these effects so i'm using pycom dash f and i'm sending it to background so if you add something like uh, if you add some command to bspwmrc that command is going to be executed before the window manager is being launched so it's like you put something on your xnet rc file same thing it will start over here then you can set your nitrogen dash dash restore and set ampersand to send it to background for your wallpaper and this is for your key bindings 
here you can set up your border width for the gap window gap and you can configure your split ratio you can like configure your borderless monocycle you can specify rules like if you want something to be floating or if you want something to be in tiling mode you can specify the rules over here and this part we have added for the polybar setup so polybar will open up instead of this is not material this is shades So this is for the polybar launch. So inside the polybar, like dot config polybar launch dot sh and the path to the polybar. So whatever you come like whatever command you specify inside the BSPWMRC, it get it will get executed before launching the BSPWM. So all your auto starts and everything are being inserted inside here so that it will start before the window manager. So that's that now mod and w to exit out of open window now if we open up vim dot config followed by sx hkd and sx drc so this is our key binding setup so simple x hotkey daemon rc file or sx hkd rc file will be having your key bindings so by default you you will be having super and return to open up your terminal so here you will be having something like rxvt unicode or urxvt so you can specify you can change that to your custom terminal so for me i'm using terminator so i'll replace that then i'm using d menu if you're using something else you can change that over here and you can specify the key binding like if you want to customize your key binding you can just do that so in order for you to reload your current configuration you can do a super and escape so super is your windows key by default so if i do a super and escape it's going to reload my configuration then i can specify keys for quitting bspwm so all these things are like uh, the default configuration i haven't done anything so we just copied it from the examples so if we do a windows key plus alt and q it's going to quit out of bspwm if i do an r it's going to restart bspwm then if i need to close like let me show you an example so if i need to close this one you can do is mod and w if i do a mod shift and w it's going to close both windows so i'm not going to do that then to open up your launcher you can use mod and space that is windows and space here you can see we have d menu so you can switch layouts by using mod f for float you can do mod s for this one and mod t for tile layout you can change your layouts like that so if you need to send this to another workspace you do the same thing mod shift 2 now it's in second workspace so if you go there like mod 1 i can see here mod 2 if i go here it's similar to all almost all the other window managers if you do a mod that is the windows key shift and the number of workspace it's going to move the current focus window to that workspace and if you want to move to that workspace you just use your windows key or your mod key and the window so yeah here you are mod and w to close that mod and one to go back you can change window states using the same key bindings which i have said above you can like do focus swap so these are like the vim key binding so if you want to change and do mod h j so this one follows the vim key bindings if you want to change focus you can do a mod shift h like um, k you get the idea you can use you can change your selection mod that is windows key shift and h a k l for your direction change so if you want to do something like if you want to edit something over here this is plain simple shell script you just need to edit that 
if you want something like if you want your D menu to work differently, you can use mod and D or something for your finger convenience. That's entirely up to you. So if you do a mod shift W, it's going to close everything that is open in that window. Mod that is your Windows key and enter to open up your terminal. So you can launch your BSPWM from Xnet by specifying like by adding echo and we specify exec space dwm no i'm sorry bspwm to your uh, dot xnet rc in your home folder so if you do that it's going to launch your bspwm so this is bspwm i hope this one was helpful i hope you all have a wonderful day